No, I'm not Harold. This is Bobby. Harold has a mustache and is bald. Harold is a girl. <laughs> I apologize. Stand by, please. We are standing. So just have fun. Just have fun. We can't be worried. Do I have like a Kleenex on my face? No, you're good. Thank you. Good. Put your bill up a little bit because it shades your face too much. Ah. <laughs> How's that? You'll see my eyes. Oh, oh thanks. Who is the poor man? Uh, are you giving us time to? Oh, yeah, hi. Hi, I'm fine. Greetings, Annie. Yeah, and uh, if you're not down on your knees on the wrap up, I don't think you're serious. You got to get down on your knees. Me? No, her, the timekeeper. <laughs> you may think this is an interview, but I got news for all of you. We are here to set a new Guinness record for most people interviewed in the least amount of time. So talk fast and good, okay? Chevy Chase, I got to talk to you about the world's worst golf swing. The PGA is going to ban you to Needles, California. They want you to be the lifetime pro there. Thank you very much. I didn't say I was good at golf, but uh, I'm funny in the movie. Where did you get the golf swing? I got it from a teacher just during the movie. I'd never played nine holes of golf. Uh, so, in fact, the swing you saw was the one I'd been studying from a the pro there. The, uh, so I don't know how bad or good it is. It's, it's just there. Is that really you doing all the trick shots? Oh, the, on the, on, yeah, but the ball didn't go in. <laughs> yeah, no, that was me, and they did go in. But those were easy. They were putts. Okay. Well, I hope you'll enjoy Needles, California very much. After all, who, who else will get to be pro at Needles, California? And Rodney, you're nice enough to have us here at this place uh, of not? yours called Rodney Dangerfields in Manhattan. And um, I finally figured out why you get no respect. Really? Anybody who runs around dressed like you do in Caddyshack, what do you expect? <laughs> well, that's what they told me to wear, you know? So I look like a type of guy you want to avoid, I guess, huh? But, uh, you smell like him. I smell like him. <laughs> but I'll keep you company. <laughs> we, uh, <clears throat> That's all right. You can hold hands. You're lucky I'm out on parole, money. okay? We did off to the... Will you ask me, my dear? Yes. Uh, where do you get clothes like that? Clothes like that? There are people wearing them. There are these guys around, you know, and so they went out and bought the clothes for that type of fellow who'd wear these loud clothes. <laughs> That's the part I played of a fellow who was a loud ignoramus who uh, invades a nice sensitive country club and uh, has a clash with that gentleman over there. We don't see eye to eye in many things, and uh, we still don't talk. <laughs> no, but uh, it was fun doing the movie. It's, everyone liked it, and I'm happy, and it came out real good, you know? Well, I must say that, you know, the way you're dressed today, you'll get more respect. Well, clothes way. are not my thing. You know, when people spend 20 bucks for a haircut inside the head, they're idiots. You know what I mean? So <laughs> you, you don't know where they're at. I mean, I can't get this deep now. It's too early for this, right? <laughs> but uh, clothes are not my thing. I know I, the whole country is fashion conscious. I know, but I was never into clothes, and that's the way I am. And well, Bill is into clothes. Now, <laughs> <I'm> he <laughs> can, Bill is the one. Bill Murray plays Carl in Caddyshack, and uh, he has one outfit that by now I'm sure they've had to bury it someplace. Yeah. They stopped washing it uh, a long moving. time ago. They tried to wash it for several days, and it just it never came clean. I did burn some of the things on the way up as a signal <laughs> fire to boats coming over from Havana, of course, but <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a grim outfit, and uh, I'm glad it's on film because they, they couldn't have kept it in any museum. I don't think. But the, the really bad thing for you, Bill, I don't know, do you know, the SPCA is looking for you. They really are. Yes, well, I'm Trying to do away with those darling little gophers. The well, gophers won, you know. I, I think it's, uh, I know it's, people say, oh, Bill, it's bad for your image, you know, but I think everyone has a killing side to them, and I think it's important that, you know, I show that everyone, any one of us at any time is capable, potentially capable of committing, of killing a gopher. Why did you kill the swan, Bill, off, <laughs> off the set? <laughs> <laughs> I was in character. It was, that's one of the... I know you study. Yeah. Those method actors, you know, they'll do it every time. <laughs> And here is Ted Knight looking, you know, so wonderful and, and so proper and, and prestigious and all. And you're really a son of a gun in that movie. A you, phony. You're a judge, <laughs> and yet you're saying the worst things about, you know, certain people shouldn't belong to the country club. 
Well, it's true, uh, from uh, Judge Smale's standpoint, that is. He's a traditionalist, and it's a well-defined character. Harold is one of the, one of the things that uh, induced me into playing the part was the brilliancy of the writing by Harold Ramis and uh, Brian Doyle Murray. And Doug because Kenny. It gave me, and Doug Kenny. gave me an opportunity to play another color, uh, away from the Baxter type of uh, uh, thing I've been doing for so many years. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I had a thoroughly enjoyable time working with these three extremely gifted comedians. It's uh, another inducement that I had. And uh, the third and most important inducement was the lack of money, because I've been looking for a tax write-off, and I achieved that, <laughs> making this picture. Well, Mary Tyler Moore told me to tell you she never heard of you. She saw the movie and the way you Who's acted in the movie. <laughs> Mary, who's Mary? Who? Have you seen Mary recently? <laughs> no, I just made that up. Oh. As a matter of fact, I made all this up. Didn't we all <laughs> just make this up? <laughs> there's, the, there's nothing but nonsense here. Hey, Tony's can be fun. <laughs> hey, good to see you all. And, uh, you know, I think we will get into the Guinness Book of Records. But for all the audience out there, I want them to know that we're going to try to break our own record. We're going to do the whole Osmond family, including the grandchildren, in a minute and a half. So you all watch for that. I did them. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you, Bobby. You've been very charming. Okay. I didn't see her go down.